Hey, Larry, I want to buy somebody a special, do you have like, like a special wine, Bordeaux, uh, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild? Um, yeah, I do. I have the 2016. How much is it? Well, it's uh, $2,000 a bottle. Oh, that's fine. That's a special gift. Yeah, but make sure you don't drink it for about 20 years. 20 years? Oh, I want to give it to somebody to drink tonight. No, these wines are 2016 Bordeaux, not ready to drink for many, 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 many more years. I mean, I have this bottle that I won in a contest. It's a great wine. I mean, uh, 2004 uh, La Gerla, Brunello de Montalcino. It's a Reserva from uh, uh, one, uh, uh, it's a single vineyard. It's, uh, is it a Reserva? No, it's not the Reserva. It's just a single vineyard, the vineyard. Uh, uh, Gliangeli in front of the La Gerla. It's a 2004. It's 16 years old right now. And it's uh, just looking for a friend to drink it. It's drinkable now. It'll be drinkable in 20 more years, still really well. But um, I don't see the point anymore. I, I don't think that's the trend. I don't have any customers whatsoever that have any interest in buying these 2011 ports. I don't see anybody buying 2016 Burgundies and Corton Charlemagne's and saying, if they're buying them, they're drinking them, they're not enjoying them because they're not waiting, and I get that a lot. And that's what I want to talk about. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I am a certified level two sommelier with the Court of Master Sommeliers here in uh, the home studios in quarantine, in pandemic mania uh, with the coronavirus. Uh, um, I'm temporarily quarantined for until I have to go back to work, until further notice, uh, uh, knock on some wood. Um, but I want to talk about that because I know um, a lot of people still, I mean, not a lot, very few people. I see pictures on the internet. Yes, people are drinking older wines, but most of them are drinking from friends' collections or they had older collections. Um, they belong to wine clubs and they realize they had too much wine. But I still see one or two people that still belong to wine clubs and they get these uh, wineries to send them a case of wine every year on the new releases and then they hope to age them, you know, especially European wine for 20, 30, 40 years, but they're 77 year old people. And even the younger people, I get complaints from clients when I tell them the bottle of wine, my recommendation is to open the bottle and let it breathe for one hour. They go, don't you have anything that I can drink in five seconds when I turn on Rachel Maddow tonight? I mean, nobody, nobody I know of any client, of any wealth. I had a, a Miami Dolphin football player's wife uh, by um, my next Dolphin player's wife buy a case of Washington State a Washington State Merlot uh, 20 bucks a bottle and that's her wine and you can drink it now you could age it for a couple of years but she's buying that wine to drink and that's my customers they come back every week I imagine everybody was just collectors and there are people like that they keep collecting I had a, a client who has a collection um, um, he collects a Castello de Gay uh, which is a, a Spanish white Rioja. The vintage was 1986. He had three bottles. And the winery doesn't even release the wine until 2007. And now he's trying to drink these three bottles for some celebration, a white Rioja, white wine, in 2020. So 1986, 2020, and the winery didn't send him the wine until 2007. He said the wine needed five or six more years. It wasn't ready. He has 30, 40, 50, 60 bottles of 1961 Bordeaux. He says, I pulled out one, but I still want to leave the other 50 bottles. The guy's 78 years old. Uh, what's the purpose, you know? And you can be that collector of anything. You can do that. You can collect, I don't know. You can collect wines. You can collect, uh, you know, fishing poles, you know, but you really want the pole that you can use every day because the pole that you can stare at you can collect uh, old albums and listen to them now, but collections of wine, you know, and spending this kind of money on port 2011, 2016, great vintages in ports, that vintage port that's not going to be ready to drink 30, 40 years, and you got to spend 70, 80, 90, $100 for a bottle of port wine that you got to put away and probably the port will outlive you and go to somebody else, or you'll drink it too early and you'll say, I should have waited, you know, and or you drink it too late with all these wines you thought were good and you got to throw it all out because you waited too long and the recommendation was speculation that that 2001 could go another 20 years and it didn't and uh, or 19 years and it didn't so 
my recommendation is stop with the wine, you know, because you can have all the great collections and show off and be all that braggadocious and show on websites. I've got this wine, I got 20 bottles of this, I got 18 cases of this and 20 bottles of that. I, I mean, you know, and in one day, one day, just when you thought we're like that, you know, your 401k is a toilet right now, down the toilet, you know, your retirement money, you know, everything, your cruises got canceled, airplanes can't cancel, you can't go to Italy, the whole country shut down, they can't come here, you can't go to Disney World, all the theme parks have been closed down, a pandemic, that's just one thing that could send the world in a tailspin and, but I got my collection, I got my collection, no, stop with the collecting. Especially your newbies, don't let people, don't be buying and wasting your money. You can buy $1,500 one bottle or buy a case or two cases of $8.99 wine from Spain or Portugal or wherever the great value is of Guali wine that you can go home and drink today and mix it up. You want to buy two bottles or something, I get it. One to drink now that's ready, a wine that's going to drink it ready, and one that you can try in a year or two or five years down the road if you're still around, you know, to see the difference of how it tastes. Just aerate the wines, buy wines that are ready to drink today or need a couple of hours or aeration and be patient and drink them. But uh, this is the whole purpose of what I do here. I don't believe in, in, in a restaurant, I never believed in carrying old vintage wines and selling them for $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 a bottle and people will buy them, but I still didn't think that was the way to go. And today's prices, you got to charge more because these uh, European wines are more to buy a vintage now and put it away. Even if you go to auctions, it's a crazy thing. Then you got to charge the customer $15,000 a bottle for Burgundy that you, you may never get to drink, but you bought it and put it away for that restaurant to, and to sell 20 years from now on their menu. Just buy wine and enjoy it. And because we don't know we don't know what can change tomorrow. We could all be quarantined. We could have nothing. Can't go. You want to go to New York tomorrow? Great. Try to find an airplane that'll fly you there. There may be great deals now. You want to go to Broadway? You can't. All the restaurants are closing. Schools are closing. You want to be a doctor? Grow up to be a doctor? Well, you need school to go to be a doctor, but all everything's closed down. You, know, you, you need some toilet paper for your house? Well, today, Panama, there's no toilet paper available. Find another way. So that's what I mean. And Treat wines not as some commodity that you're going to say because life can change on a drop of a dime and, and I want you to enjoy the pleasure. There's so much wine that's drinkable today that you, the collection, a couple of bottles, okay, but don't make that your, your thing of wines that you don't touch because they're not ready to drink yet, but you may not be survived the wine. The wine will go to your beneficiaries or who knows where, or maybe they're spoiled, who knows. You don't know. And that's the whole purpose for further information on from anything about wine. Uh, you know how to, you know, put your email address and join uh, my blog and, and, and you'll get all the contact information and my social media information, anything you need to contact me further. And remember, as I always say, you know, even during a pandemic, wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people. Everyday people like you and me and everyday people, guess what they want? They want wine that you can drink every day, like today, not 30 years from now. I'll see you next time. Stay safe, everybody.